Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This video, I'm going to be talking about the Mario 35th Anniversary Direct. This was leaked for months up until this point. This Direct announced several games and products coming this year. With that, let's start the video. Last Thursday, Nintendo had a Mario Direct to celebrate Mario's 35th anniversary. It's been 35 years since the first Super Mario Bros. game. The last thing they announced in this Direct was Super Mario 3D All-Stars. This game comes with three 3D Mario games, including Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. For some reason, Nintendo didn't put Galaxy 2 in this collection. This collection wasn't a surprise to anyone, though, because all year there have been leaks about Nintendo releasing it. Back in July, Nintendo released Paper Mario the Origami King, which was part of the uh, leak. Super Mario 3D All-Stars will release September 18, 2020, a week from when this video is published. Super Mario 3D All-Stars will only be available until the end of March 2021. Even the digital copy is going away after that, after March. I have no idea what was going through their heads when they came up with this idea. Like, why would they remove the digital cop, the digital version of the games? These versions are just ports of the original games with a higher resolution. Both Super Mario Sunshine and Galaxy ha will have a resolution of 1080p docked and 720p while in handheld. And they are 16 by 9 while super mario 64 has a resolution of 720p both docked and, and handheld and is going to be 4 by 3 other than a resolution bump nothing about how the game looks is different i mean seriously they had one job to do just remaster those three games at least we're going to be able to get a uh, sunshine and galaxy in 16 by 9 from the trailer it doesn't look like they have changed the controls for both sunshine and galaxy it does look like they have changed the super mario 3d all-stars looks like it could be a system seller but because they but because it's only going to ha be for a limited time, it won't be a s it won't be a system seller for very long. This wasn't the only game revealed during this direct. There was also a port of 3D World. Another thing they announced during this direct was Super Mario 3D World. Super Mario 3D World was a Wii U game taking the style of a 2D Mario game and putting, putting that in 3D. Instead of trying to get a certain amount of stars or moons in an open space, you get you have to get to the flagpole in each one of the levels. And like 2D platform Mario's, like 2D platform Mario's, there's a lot of stages in eight worlds. Super Mario 3D World also had multiplayer. In this point, they are adding online multiplayer, which is going to be a huge addition. You can play with three other players online or offline and try to beat them to the end of each level. At the end of the trailer for this game, they revealed that there's going to be some more content. They they added Bowser's Fury to the end of the tale, so it's Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. It looks like they are. it's the same thing what they did with the Mario and Luigi remakes back on the 3DS. There's going to be eight worlds in Super Mario 3D World. Some people who have looked at the game also are saying Mario is faster in this version of the game. Now let's talk about Super Mario 35. One of the weirdest games Nintendo last announced last Thursday was Super Mario 35. This game is like Tetris 99, but for Super Mario, you play Super Mario Bros. Trying to get, trying to be the last one standing. There are 35 other players. Every time you beat an enemy, your one of your opponents gets that enemy, and vice versa. And like Tetris 99, there are four attack options. 
they are random attackers lowest time and most coin random attackers probably work exactly like they do in tetris 99 lowest time is probably like ko in tetris 99 meaning it will target the player who's closest to losing either by having the even having like no time left or like in tetris 99 being close to being knocked out the last one is the most coin as its name applies it will target who has the most coins in the game Another cool feature in this game is the power up roulette. You have to pay 20 coins to get to the you have to use the power up roulette, meaning you have to be playing well in this game. In the trailer, you can see pa several power ups in the roulette, including the mushroom, the fire flower, the star, and the pow block. This game will re will release on the Nintendo eShop on no October 1st. The only bad thing I have to say about this game is that it is only going to be playable for a limited time only. This game goes away after March 2021. Unlike with Super Mario 3D All-Stars, I don't see why Nintendo w would only have this game available for a limited time. And with Super Mario 3D All-Stars, you would still be able to play the original game. You would be able to play the games physically with Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Next, let's talk about Mario Kart Live. Another unique game in the Direct was Mario Kart Live. Mario Kart Live is a new Mario Kart game. The game itself seems like it's going to be free, but you're going to need to, to buy the RC car to play it. The RC cars are little RC versions of Mario and Luigi in carts. They're going to be going for $100 per cart. So if you want to play with multiple people, you're going to spend over $200 on this. Unlike other games in the Direct, it looks like this will not be around for a limited time only. Like with Super Mario 3D also, it's Super Mario... Unlike Super Mario 3D All-Stars and Super Mario 35. In this game, you make the courses in your home. With the RC cars, you can get multiple things in the course. With the RC cars, you get multiple things for the course. The idea looks really good, and I hope they come up with different characters other than Mario and Luigi. They should make a, bar a Bowser and a Peach cart. That'd be cool. Even though it's a cool idea, I don't see if the RC cars are going to be worth it. Worth $100. I feel like they should be less than to 80 the R how the RC cars work is that they have a camera on the RC car, and that it sends it to the Switch, and you use the Joy-Cons to control the RC car while looking at the Switch to play. This right here is going to be released in October, but I'm probably going to get it later. Next, let's talk about the new Game & Watch that they're launching. The Game & Watch was Nintendo's first handheld console, and in the Direct, last Thursday, Nintendo announced the first Game & Watch since 2011. This Game & Watch will have is the original Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. This is the first Game & Watch to have a full game and not just minigames on them. This will be in full color, unlike previous Game & Watch units. Like its name suggests, this console also can be used as a clock. This console is also going to have ball which is the first Game & Watch game with Mario in it. Game & Watch Super Mario Bros. is going to be a limited edition, and unlike Super Mario 35 and Super Mario 3D all sorts, I can see why they, why this would be a limited edition. Because it's targeting the main core Nintendo fans, and it's a cool little knickknack, dude. It's not really like a console, and just that. It comes out November 13th of this year, and it will be retailing. retailing. It will be going for... $50 US. Next, I'm going to be talking about Super Mario All-Stars on Nintendo Online Sin the SNES. One of the last things announced for at the Nin Mario 35th Anniversary Direct was Super Mario All-Stars on the Nintendo Switch Online SNES. Super Mario All-Stars was released on the SNES first in 1993. Super Mario All-Stars ported the first three Super Mario Bros. games 
and Super Mario Bros. The Lost Level, which is Super Mario Bros. 2 in Japan, with updated graphics for the SNES. All four of these games are already on the surface for the SNES, but it is nice to have the updated visuals to play. But you don't need to have them on the Switch. Next, I'm going to talk about the rest of the stuff that was on the Switch. Nintendo is also going to have special rewards on their My Nintendo website. One of the rewards is a pin set having pins from Super Mario Bros., Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario Bros. World, and Super Mario 64. And later this year, you can also get a Super Mario keychain. To get this, you're going to have to complete some missions on the My Nintendo website. Some of the missions you can do right now are that you can visit the official Super Mario Bros. website, take the Mario quiz, download your Mario image, try the official Super Mario player, On you can download the Super Mario 3D All-Stars, you can also download the My Mario image. Race and Super Mario Kart Tour event, or you can buy the game. A link to the Nintendo website will be in the description below. Nintendo partnered up with Puma to release a new shoe based on the Super Mario Bros. series. It does look cool. Nintendo is also going to have some exclusive Mario merch at their store in New York City. Unfortunately, I won't be able to go. I'm on the other side of the world, other the other side of the country. But that'd be a cool thing to pick up. In this direct, they announced that a new Ninja Speed one was coming to Super Mario Maker 2 in November. They also announced that some Mario stuff was coming to Animal Crossing New Horizons in March of 2021. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and push the notification button bell so you're always notified whenever I upload. There will be links to previous videos in the description down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, a link will that would also be in the description below. I post videos every Friday at 3pm. See you next time. Bye.